Hey everybody, welcome to the Almond Landscape YouTube channel, Kid Contractor Podcast, the Hardscape Academy, and Almond Landscape. We're at uh, home here, don't mind all the stuff everywhere, kids, kids, I don't know what to tell you, three kids, it's craziness. Anyways, we just completed, uh, about a week or two ago, the NDS. An NDS drainage, you know them, you know them, you love them. <laughs> NDS, right there, ndsproduct.com. Uh, but it's their certified professional drainage course. And it was fun. It was, oh, I, whatever. I dork out on this stuff, as you folks may or may not know. And I found it to be um, a fantastic primer for drainage. So if you want to learn about French drainage, uh, French drains, or, you know, water conveyance off a site, or, you know, utilizing different, you know, different uh, basins and things like that, it is a great primer course for all of that stuff. But it's a three-hour course. We did it all online. So because of everything that's been going on for the past year, they moved it virtual and what was cool is it was like a two minute segment and then like three questions after that so it kept you involved it kept you interested in what they were talking about they did residential and commercial drainage but it focuses mainly on residential and once you complete the course you get put on their website as a pro contractor and they advertise to homeowners yep and so um, the course I would say is if you don't know a lot about drainage and want to learn more about it I would say again it's a great uh, opportunity whether I guess I don't know if you have to take can you take the course and not do the test I don't know no you have to go through have the test. to take test well whatever still the test but is it's, good it's three questions and it's literally yeah just on it's the, not hard it's yeah, three oh questions on the previous two minutes of video somebody barely watched. got out of high school I made it through that <laughs> so we're we're okay there but um, it was cool because um even at the end it broke down all the different products that they offer and use and so maybe you might not be familiar with all the products or that they've made now you know but it helps it helps you decipher and determine what applications you might use you know just straight line conveyance to get water out like or you we might learn you that might, they have these yeah that is one thing <laughs> i'm so excited to talk about this thing here in a second like that's cool when you might use a catch basin below here where it drains into this thing which then i found out i'm gonna go ahead and just get to it but they've got these units here which are super duper cool so you would install this at grade level and then your downspout would drop right onto this part and it would shed off leaves and stuff like that and then you've still got a basin so it's got a place for sediment and some leaves and stuff to trap which are super cool which is one of the reasons too when you put in drainage and it talks about this is putting in a clean out location too so anything that makes it through and gets in your lines you might have a y here which we install in all our, we put this in like six years ago and by the way we just power washed the patio or we had the home power wash and the power washer got blew out a bunch of sand back there so we need to hit that with some more poly sand back there you can see that big gap but six years ago we we didn't put and we do now on every project but we'll put a, a y down here and we'll have a clean out so you can unscrew that clean out cap or you know breather or whatever you got on there and then you can jet your your lines easier so it's a great upsell and a great uh, you know bonus feature uh, when you're putting in drain lines for people but it also talks about you know how to install these things and when when that's appropriate and stuff like that these these basins are awesome they've got so many punch outs for so many different things that you need to do to help achieve different depths um, there it's giving you a line for concrete embedment that's really cool actually um, six inch for heavy trucks that's really sweet I actually never noticed that part the the uh, verbiage on there but I love the knockouts and then it's got you know knockouts in here that are adapters for irrigated pipe or whatever but anyways we're supposed to be talking about the course but, um, but even before the course we had a few of these installed on our property not this size they were like miniature ones that we found yeah so we like the concept and we're really yeah. excited that and I think that's we have super cool and we're gonna put those trees we have around. we're gonna put those on the front and we're gonna hop on the ranger because I'm too lazy to walk 54 feet I think we're gonna get some rain we're gonna see how this thing actually works maybe but um, again, the course is like awesome for, and actually I'm not taking the, the Ranger just for the short drive here. Uh, watch me run over this NDS basin, bam, take that. But um, we're gonna take this down to the barn and look at a piece of pipe. But on this system, we installed a pop-up drain and here's a, yeah, that would've been cool to pop my tire right on this. Um, but on this, I was messing around with a few different things here with an NDS uh, pop-up here comes off our downspout there which i'm experimenting with something else that was from months ago if you can see up there that's an experiment i was messing with which is the miniature version Britt was talking about but now they're much bigger so uh we like that but i took i was doing all sorts of things experimenting with see look at this this is exactly why i put this basin in here to uh, i don't want to touch that it's gonna be all icky and stinky um but it gives you a sediment trap and so if you keep this somewhat clean it'll help you um 
I like putting this basin in here to do that. And two, if this thing gets overwhelmed, it'll, this is my own engineering system. I'm just playing around with this stuff, trying to figure out what I want to do exactly. But this is a, a pop-up drain here. We dug down a couple feet and filled it full of gravel, but you can see, you know, these things require some maintenance. So we're still getting some shingle grit and some leaves and stuff in here. Now, one of the things we've got going for us, and it talks about this in the course, is, you know, your, 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 uh, your soils and understanding what your soil types are. On this hillside, we're pretty much all on top of um, sandstone and sand. And so things up here, even though it's relatively flat, and by the way, we're getting new, we got new windows installed. We installed new windows in the house. So that's why that looks like that. Boy, NDS is gonna be impressed with us. I'll tell you that right now. We're probably the worst people to do any kind of promotional stuff. Um, but this is real flat in here. It actually doesn't drain real well, but for the fact that it's super sandy and tons of sand below. I mean, I think there's literally about two to four inches of topsoil and it's all sand and rock and sandstone. But that's, that's what allows us to do this kind of pop-up situation here. Um, otherwise you would want, and again, this is all, they talk about this in the course, is if you were to do a pop-up drain like that off your downspouts, that missing siding looks so tacky, gosh. Anyways, um, you would just want to make sure that you have um, enough fall that that water might get away or that you don't mind this water puddling and pooling, you know, I'd say near the house, but that's a whole nother thing. It's like, we want to make sure that our water is not puddling and, and impounding around the house. So that's a big deal. I was laughing, looking at the kids made, look at this, uh, they made, oh my gosh, Britt, look at this little, the little tent, cicada, cam, houses. cicada houses the kids made, isn't that so cool? Now, when Britt runs over that with the mower next week, because Britt will, she treats our poor Textron skid steer, or skid steer, uh, zero turn mower like a forestry mulcher, she will run over all of that and they'll hear rocks flying through the house and breaking my windows. But, um, anyways, about oh, the yeah. course, which is what this whole thing is supposed to be about. Um, do you have any last thoughts on it? Um, well, let's go look at another piece of drain pipe to talk about French drains and, uh, and we'll go from there. Um, but the, the importance of taking the course is you have all of this knowledge that you can offer your clients during a consultation, or you can add that service to your website. And, you know, we're always talking about ways to, you know, increase, increase the bottom line, but not necessarily have more customers. Well, how many customers do you have now that have downspouts or might have water issues in your yard that now you can offer the certification and say, well, I learned the service and here's what I know about it. Yep. And it's one of those things you mess with for a while and you really get good at drainage work. And, and if you start advertising for drainage work, like on your website and stuff like that, and you talk about like, um, you know, you get all the, the uh, verbiage on your website and the keywords and what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> keyword, the keyword, what's the keyword search stuff? My brain, um, is just shot. Okay. So we're going to talk about, it. I'm going to, I'm going to fabricate up something real quicker with this piece of, uh, ADS. This is, this stuff is so cool. And I got a whole rack of it at the shop, but this is that ADS double wall. I really love, but this is what you'd use in a French drain application a slitted pipe and then we love it because it's dual wall so it's got this smooth inner wall which helps water flow faster and then it's crazy strong like that's not that doesn't crush it or collapse it so generally you need about 12 inches of cover before it's vehicular rated or you know you can release a truck over it in a yard not crazy repeatedly of course but uh let's make a quick uh, french drain example Britt. okay she says awesome excited about this check this out so i punched through uh this pipe here or the pipe the bucket with with uh my awesome milwaukee but it is an ad for these oscillating battery tools god they're cool uh, but i uh, shouldn't fall off of there but i've made it just big enough so it barely has any perfect you know hold through there so this is gonna be cool but it's gonna just show you how that perforated pipe will pick up water we'll just run five gallons through it as fast as we can but i'm gonna dump this in there as fast as it can go and you'll see Oh, that's cool. Get down the side. How cool is that? So what you can imagine is in like a French drain situation, which in the course they talk about this, is we dig traditionally, depending on the needs of the, of the project and how much water we got to drain and all that, we'll dig a one foot wide trench, uh, 18 inches deep. And again, this is all going to be depending on the project, but this is kind of your standard French drain. And by the way, French drain uh, is named after uh, Mr. French 
He has a book called Farm Drainage. It's from like the 1800s. It's super cool. You can find it on Amazon. Buy it. I love it. I can't wait to put it on my, my desk at my new shop, my new office. But so, yeah, we'll do that yeah, experiment man. here too. So, um, but this is the concept. Like the bucket represents the trench. That, that perforated pipe is, you know, going to be in the bottom of that trench that you dig. And look back, actually, a couple of our YouTube videos back where we did a French drain install, did a video on it. Uh, we line it with geofabric and do a burrito wrap over the top. Um, lots to talk about there. We're just talking about pipe and training and all that crap now. But you can see that water infiltrate that those slits and then, you know, obviously evacuate itself out. And so, um, you know, having plenty of, of trench field, the thing with French drains is you need, you know, unless you install a lift pump, uh, you need a place. The great thing about French drains is they're hard to screw up. You just need a lower place to always drain to, right? So this pipe and that trench always has to have a lower place to drain to. And then you can drain the soggiest of areas if you put in enough of the French drain capacity. And an NDS professional can help you with that, con you know, the conceptual design and that kind of stuff. But uh, that was super cool. So we dig that trench, we, we fill it full of a clean stone brick. Come with me, baby. But we put in, we'll put in a number like 57 angular clean. So clean means no fines, no dust, like this, you know, road bed, you know, material out here, like a 304 in Ohio. You wanna go off the ASTM standards, ASTM number 57, in this case, angular. I, there's a couple different schools of thought on this. I like angular because it locks, as opposed to 57 round, it kind of rolls and knuckles, it's cheaper, but, um, yeah, we, we like using 57 angular anytime we can it's just stronger it's going to withstand a vehicle driving over that trench bed anywhere anytime and then also uh some guys even think running like a number two river rock which uh or a number four river rock so again that's an astm gradation that stuff's going to be more like this size mm -hmm. and so there's the claim is there's more void space i'd have to look at the the documents if you will on that but i i don't argue with that necessarily but it's got to be clean stone it cannot be road grade base it cannot have the fines in it so i'll fill this bucket up with 57 now and uh and then we'll we'll show you the infiltration there <laughs> You know, that's going to take up some of your void space, right? Or obviously a lot of it. But that's why we want to use that clean stone because there's no, there's no, uh, you know, fines in it. They're going to clog or occlude the pipe is a fancy word for it. So that'll slow that rate infiltration down a little bit, yes. But we're talking standing water over 24 hours is kind of the, the general uh, nomenclature for such things. So, you know, the more of that you have in there, the, the bigger the French drain needs to be, right? So we'll take our other bucket of water. This is going to be so cool, Britt. And we're gonna dump it in here. Now we won't be able to dump it in quite the speed. So that's cool. That's really neat, but that's how it works. But if you're interested in learning more about drainage, check out the uh, NDS link here. We'll have in the, in the description and uh, you can go take the NDS test yourself and get totally learned. Free, free course. Free, yeah, free, free, free. And you get linked on our website free, which is super cool. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Now, I could see myself moving to an intrapreneur intra kind of concept where I get to run my own division kind of thing and I get to do what I want with it. I, I could see my brain being that, which is what we try to let our guys be is, is their own entrepreneurs and every, like our project managers are kind of their own, there are in, intrapreneurs that are entrepreneurs, intrapreneurs, where they get to run their hardscape division and their storm division the way they see fit within reason, within a guidance template, you know, from us, right? And then the other guys that don't, don't have that title necessarily still are very, very empowered to do what they think is best on a project, which is what, is allows, what allows us to be so hands off on work but that harkens back to our podcast we did a few week a few episodes ago you know called uh, extreme delegation extreme ownership